Hi guys. Hi. Today we are going to be making homemade tornadoes. And it's very easy to do. All you need are two bottles that are the same size. So what we're doing right now is we're cutting the labels off all the bottles. The only other thing besides bottles, a little bit of sand and a little bit of food coloring is some kind of sturdy tape. Now you can use duct tape, you can use um, any kind of a masking tape, but you really need to get a good seal between the two bottles. So you guys ready to get started? Yeah! So what you want to do first is you want to make sure that you have a bottle that is without a label and you want to fill up one bottle about halfway up with water. Next, make sure that your empty bottle is pretty well shaken out. So I understand you may have some little droplets in there, but just do your best to shake it out and get it dried off. What we're going to do is we're going to add a drop of food coloring into each of our bottles. That way we know whose tornado is who, and we can see it more when it starts to spin. Then we're going to add some sand that we have right here, and that's gonna be our debris. So whenever tornadoes start to spin, they pick up debris, dirt, dust, sometimes plants, trees, even houses. So this sand is going to be our debris. So once we put a drop of food coloring then you're gonna sprinkle some sand in there. Next, you're going to add the debris. So you can take some sand, it doesn't need to be a lot. This time I have some pink sand. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sand to my cup. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your other bottle and you're going to attach it to the top. And you need to make sure, no matter what, that this seal, when you use your duct tape, regular tape, or whatever you use to seal this, is a good seal. Otherwise, you're gonna have water everywhere. Tornadoes can occur when a warm front meets a cold front, forming a thunderstorm, which can then spawn one or more twisters. Most twisters, or cyclones, travel from southwest to northeast and can move in the opposite direction for short periods of time. Funnel clouds usually last less than 10 minutes before dissipating, and many only last several seconds. However, on rare occasions, cyclones can last for over an hour. Twisters strike predominantly along Tornado Alley, a flat stretch of land from western Texas to North Dakota. Tornadoes are most likely to occur between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m., but can occur at any time. The worst tornado outbreak on record happened on April 27, 2011. In the midst of a severe tornado outbreak across the Deep South from April 25th to 28th, a reported 207 tornadoes touched down on April 27th alone, according to the National Weather Service. 
As with any storms, it is very important to have a plan with your family in case a tornado was to strike. Listen for the alerts. Usually tornado sirens will go off between 5 and 15 minutes before a tornado is supposed to form. Find the lowest part of your house or building, stay away from windows, and try and protect yourself from falling debris. Do not go outside until the all clear has been signaled. Stay away from lightning and try and get out of the path of the tornado if at all possible. If you liked our tornado experiment, we'll see you soon. Bye.